Alright. Ah. It's so freaking late. It's at 9 o'clock. And uh, it's not really late. But yeah. So I got my final review. In the Middle Earth series. This is really sad. Actually. <laughs> uh, so the, um, I'm going to review The Hobbit. The Battle of the Five Armies. So The Hobbit. The Battle of the Five Armies. Is about. Um, well. I'll put it this way. It takes us seconds after Smaug, um, well, desolation of Smaug, and Smaug basically, yeah, desolates the Lake Town, and, um, but now that, that the dwarves got their, um, their, their kingdom back and all this gold and crap, everyone wants the gold, so they're fighting for it. So, that's pretty much the story for this movie. It doesn't sound too good, but it is great movie. One of the best of the year. Um, yeah. Yeah, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies is a great movie. Um, I really, I, I would say I loved it, but a couple little minor things in there. Oh, but just a couple little major ones, but, yeah. Okay. Let's get the bad out of the way first, because I want to talk about all the good. So for bad, after the first 15 minutes of this movie, um, it slows down for about 35 to 45 minutes, and that really bugged me. And there's one character in particular that I didn't really care for, and it was really annoying, and added to Boris humor of the movie, which I also didn't like. That's about it. So this movie has amazing action sequences and, like, cinematography, etc. Um, great performances, great characters, great chemistry. <laughs> that were great. A lot. Oh yeah, Ugh. and it's amazing visuals and and some really impactful um scenes and a really good score. Um, yeah, and I cried actually. What um, and like when the end credits came and um, they had it all together. So I was freaking out in some scenes in the theater. I was just so happy or so sad. And I was just freaking out. The only time I really freaked out was around the end, and I'm not going to spoil it, but something with Legolas and his father is a scene, and did, when he, when Legolas' father told him something, I was freaking out, because I knew what it was. Oh, not my friends knew, because they, they're stupid, they don't want to their I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, and then my friend doesn't understand it that, but I did, and boy was I happy. I was like a little boy on Christmas. Um, people were looking at me, wondering what was wrong with me, when I was like, hee <laughs> And, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> There's a lot of little Easter eggs in here, the Lord of the Rings. And the ending, like, the final, like, minute of this movie, ties together so perfectly. And I was wondering how they were going to do it. It's, it's, I love it. I cried, because <laughs> the, uh, they wrapped it up so well. Um... <laughs> Everything's with it perfectly, and the chemistry between the characters, especially Thorne and Bilbo, is really powerful and really hard to watch at times, actually. Because things happen in this movie that are really hard to watch, but amazing at the same time. But yeah. So, yeah. The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, this is one of my favorite movies of the year, probably my, my top three at the moment. And I'm going to give it an A minus. It's a great movie. See this freaking movie. Hopefully it makes more money than all um, the past two movies. Not betting on it. But I'd like to see that happen. But yeah. Uh, that's my review of the Hobbit Battle Five Armies. A bit.